and welcome everybody my name is the IT guy and welcome to another video in this video we'll be going through the steps how to sh on how to share a um, a file or a folder on a Windows 10 machine so the steps we're going to take is basically the same thing as we did with the printer so how to share a printer within a Windows network we're going over the same steps here uh, but this is just going to be a little bit different because we're going to work from within the file explorer rather than the settings menu for printers. So the first thing you also want to do of course is you want to make sure that um, we have a private network by going over to your uh, network settings over here opening network and uh, network settings over here and you want to make sure that this is set to a private network. If this is not the case we we go over to change connection properties and we change this from public to private and if we would go back then private network should appear and this should be um, the same for uh, the server side and the client side of the connection so over over here we see that private network is set and then we want to make sure that we go over to our uh, network settings again Oops, we go over to our network settings again and we are going over to sharing options and down here we can turn off password protected sharing if you do not have a password on your computer and you cannot enter any password uh, then you'd have to turn this off otherwise you'll have to provide a uh, you'll have to provide a uh, password for any you know any folder you're connecting to so we're just going to turn this off just to make it easier uh, and you can leave this on but do remember that if you leave this on you'll always have to provide um, the password uh, of the computer where we're sharing a folder on so this is very important if you do not want to enter that password or you just want to be able to access it from anywhere and you don't have to remember the password always or you just want to open this up for the whole uh, for the whole house or the whole company um, this is going to be easier for you to turn this off and do take note that any shared uh, any shared resource on the computer is going to, going to be able to be accessed using a password protected sharing so we're not going to be able to do any limit limitations on that so if you turn this off it's turned for it's turned off for anything so again this video is just a simple uh, tutorial on how to share something from your computer this is not going to be the way we are going to do this if you're working in a big company with the server or anything this is just for a home network and maybe a small company that has you know a couple of employees like uh you know up to five employees anything bigger than that will you know you'll you'll, you'll most likely want to buy something like a windows server essentials where um where you can at least use um you know the 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 more enhanced the more advanced uh, type of uh, file sharing and you you're going to be able to do something with uh you know active directory and that's going to be a lot easier for you so this video is really really for home users and maybe um a couple of uh small business users but you know this is just a, a quick tutorial on how to do that so if you have turned this off or on whatever if you turn it off you don't have to provide the password if you turn it on you'll always have to provide the password of the computer that you are sharing the folder on so let's close that up we've checked that the computer is indeed in a private network and we are also sure that we do not have to provide a password and if you turn it on of course you'll have to provide the password and that's something you'll have to enter when you are connecting to the folder so let's just close this window too and let's go into our file explorer and I have a specific folder here uh, I've created one on you know this is just for demonstration purposes so I've created this um, this drive over here and I have created a folder called shared folder so whatever folder you're working with you can do this for any folder you want you can just go ahead and right click this go over to properties and then go over to sharing then you can click share and then you can actually just add uh, the people who can access the share should be the people on the computer you cannot add any ex uh, uh, you cannot add any um, 
external people you can only add people on the computer themselves so uh, but this is not going to matter anyway because we disabled password protected sharing so what we want to do is we want to add everyone to the uh, oops I'm just gonna see here well this is actually a little bug over here this is still in Dutch this computer was installed in Dutch by I installed the English language pack but you want to be searching for the user everyone over here and this is going to be appearing um, in this little drop down menu over here you'll see appearing everyone so let me just quite quickly type that out for you so everyone this is going to be listed over here as well but this is just a little bug with um, this is just a little bug with the uh, with the language pack installed on this computer. So you want to be adding this one over here and you want to uh, change the permission level to read and write and then you're going to click share. So hit done over here and now let's go over back let's go back to properties so the network path over here is xl-eb slash folder but if you go over to advanced sharing um, it's very easy to uh, change the share name to something else so you can just add a share name called data something like that or just let's call it share and then click OK so now the network name is called so the network share is going to be called share let's just quickly apply this and now the network path is uh, backslash backslash xleb backslash share and if we just remember this over here we can close that up we can close this up and now let's go over to the client side of the connection. So I am going to open up my file explorer first and it's right over here. So I'm going to open up my file explorer here and now I can access this in two ways. So I can just type in xl-eb and this will show me the resources. So we added share and shared folder which are actually just two names for the same folder so if we go go into share we can easily create something like a new text document uh, and it looks like I still need permission to perform this action let's see what we did wrong here let's see here um, oh so okay so um, just to be sure if you go into shared folders, you go into properties, you go into sharing and you go over to share. It's set to the read and write permission, but sometimes it can be so that Windows does not apply everything the way it has, the way it should be. And in that case, you just go over to advanced sharing and then go over to permissions again. And then you allow full control for the everyone user. Again, this is the everyone user. Uh, I'm just pointing that out because this is a little bug in the in the language pack. It does not translate the the Dutch word for everyone. So this is going to be named everyone. You just allow full control, apply, hit OK, hit OK again, close that up, close that up, and now let's go back into the um, into the share on the client side and let's create a new text document and this works perfectly now let's go back into the server side of the connection so this is where the network share is hosted let's open up our uh, explorer here it's going to the share folder and the text file appears here as well so our share is definitely working the way it should so this is just a um, a, a way to uh, to just you know, uh, browse the location, but we can add that location to our computer uh, definitely. So um, to be sure that we can access it from anywhere. So the way we do that is we map a network drive. We type in the folder. So we type in the share, which is backslash backslash xl dash eb. Oops. Backslash and the network's names, uh, the network's share was called share. And we can also just browse the location as well. So we can go over to XLEB and then type in share. So we just type in the full share name. We just hit finish. 
and now we can go into uh, our network drive over here and we can also uh, just as well create any type of document and if we go over to the server side again we see that the changes are made here as well and it works in both ways so I can create a new file here and I can just call whatever an, an empty RTF document and it will all be uh, changed on both sides since we are working with a shared folder. So this was just me showing you how to um, create a, and connect a shared folder within a private network. Uh, I hope this video helped you out guys and if it did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!